Good morning! It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. A beautiful day. <laughs> so today is Saturday. I don't open till 1 o'clock on Saturdays, so I got a little extra time to do some kind of detailed cleaning in the mornings. And uh, so I think yesterday, working with Riot really helped a lot. I got her some uh, some more bones and stuff to chew on uh, from the store just now because I had to go get some Aleve for my knees. They're just, man, I think the walk really helped Riot yesterday, but I'm not sure it helped my knees too much. <laughs> yeah, let's see, we've got Riot, we've got Buttons, Sam. Uh, Sam seems to be feeling better. I didn't have any more uh, messes at all this morning when I, at least when I peeked in this morning I was there about 6 a.m. opening the doors uh, Making sure everybody was okay and everybody was just just fine and Riot seemed pretty calm so I'm I'm hoping that what I did yesterday helped. I think it did. I think it did and this morning right off the bat before I do anything else I'm gonna take her for a walk first thing just to get that anxiety out of her a little bit forgot about this other dead tree right here I need to cut down there you go right follow the trail like the rockiest part right here. These are all the rocks I've found on my adventures. You'll see them laying around. <laughs> Good job, Riot. Hang on, hang on. Sit. Sit. Got a girl. Good job. There you go. Good job. Okay. So I guess I'll just start with her. All right, let's go outside for a little bit. Yeah, no mess from Sam this morning. I don't, it was crazy, man. I've been watching him and he just, he, he looks like he's feeling better today. So maybe it was just nerves yesterday. <laughs> Sam, are you hungry? Are you that hungry? That's good, that's good. You weren't hungry at all yesterday. Oh, he's hungry this morning, good. I was a little worried about him yesterday. Kept an eye on him though. Pretty sure it was just nerves. Yeah, I forgot to put your boarding card there, Sam. I guess I just know you that well. I got a Riot, a Rawhide. Oh, you liking that? Yeah, she's liking that. It's keeping her busy. Trooper, it's okay. Hey, hey. Dang, you guys need your nails cut, dude. But as you can tell, everybody's calming down a little bit after getting fed and all that stuff. Ralph! Come on. How are you? Come outside. There you go, buddy. <laughs> Ralph's pretty cool. He's pretty chill. Oh, in fact, I think I'm going to sit down for just a moment. Oh, my goodness. You know, it's like it's it's not a whole... I mean, it is a lot of work, but it's not like... It's not like you're digging ditches or anything, but man... Every day, every day, every morning, um, it just becomes... You definitely get tired. 
Like this is this is the moment where I'm like, you know, maybe I should hire someone. <laughs> Spring is definitely kicking in, but winter is definitely not done yet. You're a good dog. <laughs> ah, ow, that's my nose, dude. Yeah, maybe it won't be another whole week, huh? Maybe it'll be shorter than that. We'll see. All right, I got the backyard all cleaned up. It's time for me some lunch. I'm about starved to death. <laughs> I don't know. She seems like really kind of chill right now. Good girl, Riot. You're okay. You're okay, except for destroying my fence. Not too happy about that. All right, I've done everything I can this morning, so I think I'm gonna take a break. I got Zuni checking out probably at one, so that gives me enough time to get some uh, some lunch. All right, it's about 12:40, and lunch was good. I've got. I just checked my messages and they did say that they were coming to get Zuni at 1 o'clock. So I'm going to go ahead and get her out and get her ready to go. Ready to go home, Zuni? You didn't eat much, did you? Oh, you ate a little bit. Yeah, you ate a little bit. Did you get your... Okay, yeah, she got her ball. Arf! <laughs> That's all I got, Zuni, Zuni leaving today. I think I'll just make the rotation the rest of the afternoon, getting everybody out again, just kind of hanging out with them. Oh my gosh, that is so loud. Oh my goodness. Yeah, that's loud, Zuni. She's just gonna put keep away. No way I'm grabbing that. <laughs> I was vacuuming out the uh, Zuni stall that she was in. I noticed a couple of pretty good cracks where I need a silicone in it. So I think I'm just gonna go ahead and get that done right now. Yeah, I think that's all I wanted to do on that. I'll leave that door open. Let it dry. I noticed something earlier though. My tarp on the outside got ripped. I'm pretty sure I think Riot did it. I don't wanna, I didn't see her do it, but from the uh, current trends, I think that's pretty much who did it. Right here. These things have lasted two years and uh, they have withstanded and the building has withstanded like 90 mile per hour winds, winds almost every day. The weather up here is not very nice to material up here, I'll tell you that much. Our elevation's about 6,400, something like that. All right, how much more time you got there, Buttons? Four more minutes. Yeah, I literally time the dogs. That way it's fair and equal to everybody. You know, unless I have a priority like uh, Riot, you know, then, you know, I spend a little extra time with them, or at least I try to, but. You like that scratch right there, huh? Yeah. There goes the deer. What are you doing? Come hang out in here with me. You got about five more minutes. Might as well just try to chill.
I don't know what to do for her. You can see she cut her nose, chewed on her tail. I don't know. Walked her. This is probably the fourth time. Yeah, fourth time she's been out. So I've given her huge bones. She has all kinds of toys. I don't know. There's only so much you can do for, you know, certain dogs, you know, that's just, sometimes that's just the way they are. And it, sometimes it just takes dogs a little bit to get in the routine. You can tell, I mean, you can tell she's not like terrified. You know, it's, it's not me or, I don't really know. She's just like, even when we were walking, like I noticed like a twig would move from the wind and it would spook her and she would just be like, ah! So even then, you know, it's like, I don't know. Yeah, you're a good girl. You, you are, you're a good girl. You just need to calm down. Yeah, you just need to relax and know you're gonna be okay here. Yeah, and nobody's gonna get you. Okay, yeah. Nothing's gonna get you. That's why I don't do group play. Uh-huh. <laughs> what do you think? All right, I got a kind of unexpected guest here. Um, this is Gus. And I, I wasn't expecting him until tomorrow. And he just showed up. <laughs> I said, oh, I wasn't expecting you guys to till tomorrow. And he said, yeah, we gotta leave early tomorrow. So I figured I'd just bring him by today. <laughs> okay, glad I had a stall kind of ready. That's how it goes, guys. You never know. Like the fact that, let's say if I was full right now, if I was completely full right now, what would I have done? What would I have done? I would have had to tell him, uh, I don't have any room for you. You know, I'm gonna have to, uh, you're gonna have to bring him tomorrow. So that's, I've had a lot of people do this. You know, like for, for instance, you know, people extending stays, you know, it's fine if I have room, but if I don't have room, then I, I just don't have room. You know, so it's 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 kind of hard to deal with people's uh, schedules changing last minute a lot. I forgot I uh, I pulled the turf out of this one too. Gus, would you be okay if you didn't have turf for one afternoon, and I'll put it in tomorrow? I honestly don't feel like it. I wasn't expecting him until tomorrow. I, w I would put them in there, but I just silicone that one. So I, I don't have a choice. He's just gonna have to go in this one. Well, everybody's been out this afternoon, and uh, I think I'm gonna take a little break. My son, he's on for this evening. Good boy, Gus. You gonna be okay right there? I'll get that turf in there for you tomorrow, bud. Yeah, so like, what would I have done if uh, if this whole thing was full? I don't know what I would have done. That's why I always keep one stall open in case stuff like this happens. In case I have to separate some dogs or something else. But uh, yeah, I think at this point I'm gonna go in and take a break. I've, I've about had enough for today, guys. Let my son take care of stuff this evening. This will be his last evening. And then I'll be on Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, all day. But I've been basically out here all day besides that one hour lunch break. Yeah, guys, I think I'll pick it up tomorrow. Unless this ends up being a video, which I kind of doubt, but uh yeah i think i'll just pick it up tomorrow sunday and then i'm hoping this next week looks a little calmer so hopefully i can do those panels get those two panels taken care of 
and start back on like kind of repairs but doing those panels is going to be kind of a pain because i've got to bust out the compressor uh nail gun everything and i kind of like to do the, that fencing at the same time i do the panels that way i just have that one time i bust out all the uh all the tools and then that's that you know right now there's just too many dogs it's just taking a, a while right now it's 345 so it's i've had a day again <laughs> you would think she's like dying huh She's not. She's just fine. Good morning. It is 6.15 in the morning. Uh, just walking down to the kennel. I'm gonna open up all the dog doors. Morning, guys. Very, very morning. <laughs> Wow, I'm surprised no one's barking at me this morning. Good morning, Charlie. Good morning, Charlie. Morning, Buttons. Morning, Buttons. Morning, Buttons. Good morning, Trooper. Oh, Buttons is already going crazy. Good morning, Cookie. How are you? Are you okay? <laughs> Good boy, Cookie. Good morning, Riot. Hi, how is Riot tonight? How is Riot this morning? Are you a little better? She actually seems a little calmer, believe it or not. Good morning, Annie. Good morning, Miss Annie. Hi, Mr. Ralph. How are you, sir? Good morning, Sam. How are you, Sam? Oh, wait. There you go, Sammy. Hi Gus! Hi Gus! Oh my goodness. Hopefully today's gonna be smooth. I smell something funky, but I don't see anything. You sleeping in, Annie? <laughs> Alright guys, I gotta go inside, get me some coffee. Excuse me, get my coffee going and all that jazz. And then we'll get the day going. Okay, the walk went really good with, uh, with Riot. She did really well. I tried to like do a really, really slow pace with her. I'm just going to start going around now. And uh, really doing some serious cleaning since I don't open till 1 o'clock. Uh, I'm starting with buttons. On number two, I'm just going to go around like this. And get everybody cleaned up. And then Gus... I'm going to go ahead and put uh, that other new turf that I bought uh, the other day in Gus's stall. He doesn't have any turf right there. And uh, that way he'll have plenty of turf. I don't think he's going to mess with it or, at all. It is windy, but it's going to be warm. So with the wind and the warmth, I can wash down these outside stalls real good. I always try to take advantage of days like this and really wash them down. You know what I'm actually thinking? I'm actually thinking about putting the newer turf right here for buttons and then taking the other one that was ripped and put it in Gus's. Hmm. I may do that. I think I'm gonna do that. I gotta add some rock right here. Gus, all right, I got Gus a, a nice turf now for him. 
So he's set up. Let's get you some food, Mr. Gus. You got a lot of treats, Gus. Like a lot of treats. Here you go, Gus. Gus, come on, bud. Come on, Gus. Okay, he doesn't want to come in here. Let's see if I can corral him in here. Hey, bud, come on. Let's get you some food. Come on. Come on, Gus. Let's go. What's wrong, bud? You're gonna be all right, Gus. Come on, bud. Come on. Let's go. Come on. Okay. Let's try the old leash routine. Come on, bud. It's okay. Let's just go back to your room, all right? Atta boy. You're okay. Good boy. Come on. Come on, Gus. Atta boy. Good boy. Come on, buddy. I'm not even having to pull him. He just kind of knows. You're going to be okay, Gus. You're going to be okay. Hey, let's get that off. Hang on. Good boy. Good boy, Mr. Gus. Good boy. Good boy, Mr. Gus. Good job. Good job. Good boy. All right. I took a little water break just got these cleaned up i was just uh allowing for some time for charlie and trooper to hang out outside they're here for another week Charlie, that a boy there you go good boy charlie did you eat already buddy good boy trooper good boy trooper Ralph, you're next, buddy. Then you get to go home. You do. You get to go home after this, bud. I should probably go from the top down. taken me about an hour but everything's looking and smelling a lot better in here man I sure hope the boss is paying overtime this week because I definitely have it <laughs> good morning so it's Monday morning and I did not want to end the uh, weekend video without giving you uh, slight good news this morning after working with Riot all weekend long, and then last night I ended up put putting the uh, the uh, TV on low, and I think that did the trick because the only time she was chewing her tail was at night. Went in there this morning, hasn't chewed her tail. She was so calm. I opened the door and she like looked at me and yawned and and just like slowly moseyed out instead of barking and jumping up and down. So. I think I've made some headway. <laughs> she only has tonight, she leaves tomorrow, so right at the end of her stay, you know, she's finally calming down. But at least I can put that on her boarding card, and next time it'll definitely help. But she definitely finally calmed down, and so I'm gonna consider that a uh, victory for this weekend. 
<laughs> All right, today's Monday. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna be filming anything today. I'm gonna take a break from that. But I'll pick it up uh, probably midweek uh, when we start doing all the repairs and stuff. But, uh, yeah. All right, guys. Have a great week. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you on the next video.